The NBA Finals are here. The Dallas Mavericks, they advanced to the Finals for the third time in franchise history after defeating the Minnesota Timberwolves in five games. And this game five here was lopsided, man. It, it was... Oh, man, I, I enjoyed the series in total, but this was a wild, wild game five. Timberwolves pretty much just laid down and... and let Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, they had more points than the Timberwolves as a team at halftime. Luka Doncic and Ky Kyrie Irving combined for 44 at half, and the Timberwolves team had 40 points at half. So that tells you, you know, how bad the game was in terms of what the Timberwolves was doing on the floor. And, you know, game five, there's plenty of reasons they lost this. Luka caught fire. First quarter came out, you know, just lighting them up. Uh, from three and just lighting them up on the scoreboard. And Wolves, it just seemed like they was happy to not get swept. Because game four, they played they play good. They finally got a game. Everybody thought they were going to get swept. We thought it was going to be over. And they ended up winning. So I, I just feel like I can't help but to think that the Wolves had a lot of momentum going into game four about, oh, we can't get swept. We can't get swept. And then since they got that game, kind of took the gas off the pedal and was like, all right, well, you know, we just got another game come come game five, and that that that's what it looked like. It looked like they lost some steam coming into game five, and some things I thought should have changed. And what was the ultimate deciding factors in this series was, I mean, I think the the Timberwolves got out coached by Jason Kidd because the Dallas Mavericks was on it. They made some some great adjustments in the game, and then I also think that the key difference was that the the stars didn't show up for the Minnesota Timberwolves, man. How can you expect them to win a series when Anthony Edwards was playing the way he was and Carl Anthony Towns was playing the way he was? The stars wasn't there. They didn't really help everybody else. They you had a uh, uh, Anderson Walker play good the role guys for the Timberwolves play good Nas Reed play good Jaden McDaniels play good he held his own but everybody who's the big name on the Minnesota Timberwolves wet the bed each game in this series they failed to close out games they failed to show up big in clutch moments of the game and they failed to show up during the, the the important stretches of the game and that was one of the key differences here like I still don't know why I still don't know why Chris Finch had Rudy Gobert on the island in crunch time. That should have been adjusted right after game one. Soon as he got torched in game one in a pick and roll, they should have been in the locker room making hell of adjustments, talking about, look, Gobert, you don't go on that island no matter what you do. Whatever we do, we make an adjustment to make sure you don't go on that island. That should have been a no-no from the jump. But they didn't. They never fixed that. They still got killed in the pick and roll by Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic every single time. They still dragged Rudy Gobert out on the island and let him get killed game after game after game. That was a huge thing that, that could have turned this series around. But it didn't happen. And the Wolves... They got the number one defense, but they still didn't have an answer for Kyrie and Luka Doncic. Those guys were on a tear all series. Like, it's not much you can do when you got Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving killing you like the way they were. But you, you got to make some adjustments. And I didn't really see that from Chris Finch and the Minnesota Timberwolves. So I think that was a huge part of why they ended up losing this series here. Uh, but you got to give kudos to the Dallas Mavericks, man, because they showed up and showed out. Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic did their thing in this game five, or in this game five here this past game man they put up 36 points each I think Luka Doncic might have been close on a triple double but the man had over 20 in a first quarter which was just insane it was just a wild wild thing to see man and Wolves they gave up but look man it's a new matchup I'm excited about this next matchup that's coming up between the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. I got to go ahead and give you some insight on that.